Hello and welcome to our craft video. What I'm doing today is I'm showing you how to make these explosion box cards um, for a baby shower. So these are two I made earlier. So just to show you what they're like. So this is more of a neutral one. So we made these for a baby shower but you can obviously make them for anything. New baby, birth announcement, that sort of thing. There we go. So we have all the different colours and little baby bits of bib and a onesie and little boots and a bottle and then in the middle we have a rocking horse. There we go. That's the other one. And then this one for a girl. Pink one. Again. So we went for pink and brown. Lots of florals, little ladybirds. And the same motif, so it works really well in both colours. And there we go, little rocking horse in the middle again. Okay, so the one I'm going to show you how to make today is the blue one. So we'll just put these away. And that one. Okay, so in the cutting pile, you'll find all the bits you need to make the explosion box, apart from the ribbon. So what you need to cut out is the box base. So that consists of this large one and the second one, ever so slightly smaller. And these are perforated along the square, so you just can fold them. And then there is a smaller square which forms the infilling for these bits. And you need four, well, five of those in different colours. And they're going to be the decorations on the smaller ones. And then you need two sets of the bigger squares for the base. This one. So as well as an extra one to go on the top. You need to cut out the lid. Again, this will have perforations in it. And then you need to cut out the four different um, designs. These are the backing bits, so they're slightly larger. And then the four different designs. So the bib, the bottle, the boots and the onesies in your four chosen papers. To decorate your box you need to cut out two rocking horse shapes. These are all done in the base colour that you've used for your base card and then these are done in the accent colours, the accent papers. So what I do as a quick tip is when I'm cutting these squares out is I'll cut out maybe three or four in each size and then I'll fill the rest of the paper with these designs so that we have loads of these. So even when, and then I put them in a little bag for next time I'm crafting, so if I want to make scrapbook pages or something with them then I've got plenty to go at. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put it all together now. So we'll start with the top. So what I do with our accent colours paper, so I've got two that are very similar. Oh, so that one's going to go in the middle. And then, so they're opposite each other. And then the two sort of more exciting designs, more colourful, go opposite each other as well. Um, you can do it whichever way you like, that's just the way I like to do it. So, and it's just a simple case of gluing these on. Hmm, this is a bit of a shadow there, sorry about that. Now this one needs a centre on because this is where the rocking horse is going to stand. I think it, which level, oops, 
well done. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the these little designs on these four cutouts. Now, what I've done is I've used sticky foam pads on these, just so they raise slightly from the surface. So these have got holes in for the little boot laces, so if you wanted to, you could put little laces in as well. <laughs> Just with a bit of floss or a bit of ribbon if you thread it through. Okay, so what I do with these is I try and put them so they show a big contrast. So the plainer papers go on the more decorated papers. There we go. And again, they're just stuck down using a normal glue stick. There we go, it's all four stuck down there. And now I'm going to do the bit of card that goes underneath. Right, so I've put some sticky tape on this already. This is double sided sticky tape to stick these together when we're done. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to decorate the side that you see up. So, this will be the side that's inside the box. Now, so we don't want the papers to be the same on each side like this. So we're going to use this as our guide and try and do opposite ones. Okay, yep, that will be fine. Stick them down. Okay, and then when we stick that on, we'll have opposite papers, so the papers aren't the same. Now we do the back. Again, think about where you're putting your papers, so we don't want that one there, we want it there. There we go. Right. Turn the background. And we're going to take these sticky bits off. Yeah, and then we're going to put this on here. So it's easiest to fold it up. Then you know exactly how big the box needs to be. This is the only tricky bit, I promise. That's about right. There we go. And then we need to do the rocking horse. So we have these two. And just a bit of double sided sticky tape again on the back. Stick them together so you need to concentrate to make sure they are right on top of each other. There we go. And then there's just this little piece here, which you put in between the rockers. So this is actually scrap card I'm using, but the file does include a special piece just for in here. Stick that down. You can leave it to dry. 
Well, I'll just leave it to dry a little bit, maybe. Okay, and then it's just another bit of double sided sticky tape. Or you can use sticky dots, whatever suits. Place that in the middle. It's always quite lucky, this one. There you go. And now, finish off with the lid. So I've just got another bit of accent paper. Stick this down. Stick that in the centre of the lid like that. In this case of folding these long perforated lines. And then I'll just use sticky dots. Edges. Oops. It's focusing well, I won't do. There we go, that makes the lid. And the final bit of decoration is just a little bit of ribbon around the top of the lid. So again, I've used dual sided sticky tape. So I think this is a one centimetre ribbon. But it depends how big you cut out your design as to what will work for you. Okay, not got too much. And that just fits on top of the card. Like so. so as you can see it is super duper simple. There we go. And that is our little boy card to fit with our other ones. Thanks very much for watching.